It's it, Disney Day. <laughs> it's 3.30 a.m. Okay. It's 3.30 a.m. and it's... Disney Day. <laughs> We're going to Disney today. We just got to the airport and we're unpacking. We're here! We just arrived at Orlando Airport. And your belongings. Alright, we just came down to Magical Express and we're in lane 10. How are you feeling? I'm ready to get out there. To help put together so the am I. Make the most oh, we boy, just boarded yeah. the Magical Express. Oh, and we're on our way to Coronado Springs. We just arrived at Coronado Springs. We're waiting to get our carry-ons. And then we're gonna go find our room. It's so beautiful, the weather is stunning. We just walked into Coronado Springs and so far it's so beautiful. We're just gonna explore and find our room. Now we did online check-in so we don't have to go to registration here, but look how beautiful it is. I love it. We just got here. We're on the elevator heading up to our room. What do you think so far? It's a huge resort. I never even heard of it, I don't think. Yeah, we had never even thought about staying here. The price was right and the rooms are refurbished so now. Much to explore. It is like huge. It's beautiful and this weather is making it even more beautiful. All right, let's go find it. All right, Riley, give us a tour. This room is really pretty. Um, wow, well, I mean, look at this long desk thing. And it has three caballeros everywhere, which I used to love that movie growing up. So there's art of that all over the place. And then these really neat doors to the bathroom. The last time, I never even thought that people would ask about this, but the last time when we came in January, we had two queen beds or double beds or whatever these are instead of a king. And people were like, oh, so you and your husband don't sleep in the same bed. <laughs> We do, and we do on vacation, and we do at home. It's just cheaper. You have to pay to upgrade to a king, and we really don't care. We use one bed like this. Yeah, one bed we use to like lay things out, and then we sleep in the other one. So, just to clear that up, um, this, these are doors. The shower is awesome. Wow. Yeah, shower. Baby girl's in here. This is actually her second Disney trip, but the first one where we knew she existed. Oh, these, this shower is really neat. Yeah. Wow, this is so much nicer. Oh, see, they don't have the little products anymore. Oh. In some ways I like it better, yeah. in some ways I like it worse. They have, um... Nice shower. This is so nice. This is way nicer than previous modern you stayed in. Look, they have like aloe vera too. Look at this nice sink area. It's very modern. And unlike the other places, they have like an actual closet rather than just a rod. Yeah. This is so pretty. Mm -hmm. Wow, I really like this hotel room. Is, yeah. Riley, tell the people what happened. <laughs> Quick tip. If you come to Disneyland World and somewhere between the airport and your room, you lose your magic bands within five minutes. You can just go to the front desk and I'll give you another one. How do you know that? I lost my magic bands within five minutes, <laughs> and um, the front desk said just to come down. Yeah, we I'm just sure it happens a lot. It probably well with little kids, you know, it happens all the time. What the what? I don't know how it got lost. I guess it just wasn't secured. Well, so we're gonna head down there and get that sorted, and then we're gonna head to Magic Kingdom. Yeah. You want to eat at Magic Kingdom? I know there's so much to look at here. I know we can walk around a little bit more. But we've got a on a mansion fast pass. Basically. Yeah, we do. Look at the beautiful flowers. So far this resort is really beautiful. Yeah. It suits this time of year because it's warm and it just feels, you can just be outside enjoying it. That whole building is new, that big giant thing. So 
so we are in registration after all. We're getting this magic band situation sorted, which they've made it so easy. Like I said earlier, I bet it happens all the time. But it's so pretty in here. Everyone's so friendly. Operation replace Riley's magic band. Operation Dumbo Drop. Complete. Just like that, we're on the bus to Magic Kingdom. Oh, I'm so excited. We're heading into the Magic Kingdom, and there in the distance, we see our girl, the Grand Floridian. Some of the best memories ever there from this January, which I vlogged all of that. If you want to go check out my Disney playlist, I will now link it above. <laughs> Here's the train station, and here we go, our first look of Magic Kingdom for our May 2019 trip. There she is. Look how pretty she's looking today. Oh, I'm just so happy to be here. I feel so grateful to be here with our little princess. Mm, so sweet. So apparently they're widening this bridge that we're about to walk on to go to Liberty Square. And um, so Cinderella's moat is totally gone, which isn't very pretty. This is usually such a pretty shot of the castle. It's all full of water, but you know, you gotta do maintenance sometimes, I guess. So here we're walking on to Liberty Square. And usually this is my favorite side of the castle. This, this photo right here, I have like hundreds that I've taken over the years of this shot because the castle will reflect into the water and it's just stunning. Um, but it's not very stunning right now. <laughs> anyway, we're heading in to Liberty Square. We're going to Haunted Mansion because we always have to do that as the first ride of the trip for my husband who is a Haunted Mansion lover. And then I think we're gonna get lunch here in Liberty Square at Columbia Harbor House which we ate at back in 2016, but it's been quite a few trips since then. Somehow we end up here 27 times on every single trip. <laughs> here we are at Haunted Mansion. What do you think? And we're eating at Columbia Harbor House for lunch. We have a frozen lemonade, lobster roll, a sandwich. Yeah, I mean, we got a pretty good view of the Haunted Mansion line. We're sitting outside of the Christmas shop, we rode Buzz Lightyear and People Mover and got a drink of water. And we went into the Christmas shop and picked out an ornament and had it personalized for our baby. We are waiting for the Festival of Fantasy Parade to start. We're gonna watch it from over here so that we can sit down in the shade while we watch it. I love this parade. It always makes me cry. I feel like I'm gonna cry extra this time. Hey guys, I'm sorry I dropped off the face of the earth there. We both did. We, we're as so you know, tired. yeah, we're so tired. Our flight departed at a little after six, and so we've been up since three and we're just really tired. <laughs> so we just went back and took a nap. It's 7.15 p.m. now. It is gorgeous out here, right? Yeah. Yeah. We, but we rode the People Mover and Peter Pan uh -huh. and um, something else. We saw Festival of Fantasy. Oh, Buzz Lightyear. Oh, we rode, rode Buzz Lightyear. I think we already said that. Peter Pan, which was closed when we came in January. We saw the Festival of Fantasy Parade and the People Mover and that's all we did. And now we're heading back to Magic Kingdom tonight for dinner. We are going to be our guest for dinner tonight, which is a family favorite. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's hot, it's definitely hot out. It's like 85 to 90 degrees all day, but we stopped and got water and the shade is really cool and it's been great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're gonna go spend the evening in Magic Kingdom and as it cools down, It'll be even nicer. For the sake of research, I am wearing my Birkenstocks tonight. I won't make you look at my feet. You can look at the beautiful surroundings at Coronado Springs. But I get questions all of the time because I love my Birks. I wear them all the time. They help me so much with my back and everything else. People always ask me, "Can would you wear them to Disney for the day? And I always say I would consider wearing them for a few hours for like dinner or a nighttime show. 
And since that's exactly what we're doing tonight, I decided to try it out. Anyway, I'll have to report back on that. We just got on Pirates of the Caribbean. We're about to go. We just rode Pirates of the Caribbean, which is always a favorite of ours, and I just can't describe how beautiful this night is. It is cool, breezy, it's just beautiful. Yeah, it's perfect. We're enjoying it so much. Our January trip, weather was very off and on, and we had a few icy, rainy, freezing nights. <laughs> so this is so welcomed. We are heading to be our guests for dinner tonight. We haven't been to dinner here in several years. Super excited. We just checked in for dinner and we're waiting on our reservation. There's Seven Dwarves Mine Train, which I cannot ride, but for a very happy reason. Prince Eric's Castle. There's Prince Eric's Castle. Fantasyland, just, I just love it. Oh, Riley takes so many pictures, I love it. Cause I take videos and he takes pictures. We're a good team. for dinner and it's a three course fixed price meal and I got French onion soup to start and Riley got tuna spiced tuna spiced tuna it sounds great and for dinner we both got the filet mignon which comes with mashed potatoes on the bottom and roasted carrots and potatoes and green beans And we just got the dessert trio, so you don't get to choose your dessert, you always get the trio. So there's a raspberry lemon macaron, and then this is a white chocolate cup that looks like chip with gray stuff inside, which is like a cookies and cream yummy thing. And this is a hazelnut truffle. And the plate is so pretty. Look, it, it's like edible. Oh, that is? Well, I mean, I'm gonna eat it. I don't know You're gonna eat that paper? <laughs> <laughs> so when Riley got his little trio, uh, what I noticed first was <laughs> I picked up the chocolate ball and this paper is stuck to it, and I was like, oh, we must be able to eat the paper. And so instead like, of diving, yeah. it, so instead of eating the three delicious desserts, he just started chowing down on the paper. But it turns out he said. Um, everything but the plate is edible, so I trusted him fully. And then we double checked with him just and now. Him and he said, yeah. And I was like, it wasn't good, but I ate so it. So if you come to be our guest and you want to be like Riley, you can just eat the paper. Yeah. It Look, tastes, he ate like half of it. It tastes like, it doesn't taste like paper, is my, the big giveaway <laughs> that it was edible, was that it didn't taste like paper. <laughs> so. <laughs> you told me to be in. Well, I thought if you're gonna do that. You wanna make it taller? I can't. I'm too tired. Hi, it's 11:09 p.m. and we have had such a fun day. But we have literally been up. I got up at 2:45 a.m. So we are going on close to 24 hours. I'm very, very tired. Riley's very tired too. But we have had such a fun day today. 
Um, I know I vlogged here and there, and in the evening, we went back to Magic Kingdom, went to um, be our guest for dinner, which was excellent. Um, excellent. It is either, you either pay, it's a fixed price menu, um, so you can either pay $60 per person out of pocket, or I'm not in focus, or um, you can use two dining credits per person. I'm still not in focus. I'm just like a big, I look like a huge blur. Not blur, but blur. <laughs> <laughs> it's too late, okay. Anyway, really, really good meal. We walked through Main Street, shopped a little bit. We didn't buy anything, but we just enjoyed ourselves. It's just been such a good day. Um, this resort is beautiful. These rooms are beautiful. The, the staff has been like amazingly great. The buses have been pretty fast. Like it's been good. My only, our only downside that we can see so far is that it is huge. This resort is just huge. And um, so to get anywhere, there are like four internal bus stops. You're walking tons and tons. It's just a very big resort. It's a resort that has a convention center at it. So they host a lot of conventions here. Um, which makes sense. So it has to be like very big. Plus they're building the new tower here and they're doing a lot of construction really cool resort just be prepared if you're coming to stay here um the grounds are gorgeous the rooms are gorgeous the staff is amazing but you're gonna walk it's huge um so that's that's kind of our review of the resort so far but we've really enjoyed it i mean we think it's really beautiful we really like it it's very very cozy and um the landscaping and all the fountains right it's just like it's beautiful mm -hmm. yeah it's really nice so anyway we're gonna get some sleep i'm not sure how i'm gonna do these vlogs whether i'm gonna piece them together all together if I'm going to do different days. So if this is the end of this one, thanks so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up, shoot me a comment below, and make sure to subscribe for more Disney videos. Um, and if not, then I'll see you guys tomorrow. Either way, oh my gosh, I don't know why this camera, I probably need to clean my lens after all the sunscreen. Light. Yeah, and the light's really weird. Anyway, I'm going to go. Thanks so much for watching. We are going to sleep well tonight. Bye guys. Oh, and one more thing. I wore my Birkenstocks tonight and they were fantastic. I only wore them from seven to 11, so not clearly not all day, um, but I felt like they worked really, really well. They are super comfortable. My feet aren't rubbing, anything like that. <laughs> Throwback to January vlogs. So that is my review on the shoes.